You drive up, throw up the routine wave to the guard, the arm goes up, and you're officially on campus. The two gated entrances on Seaver Drive and John Tyler Drive are the only way vehicles can enter. According to Pepperdine President Andrew Benton, the gates were actually implemented in the late 80s as information booths. At nighttime, vehicles need a permit, ID, or verifiable authorization to get on. At one time, I was coming back and I forgot my Pepperdine ID and I had to pull up my WaveNet account to get back on campus. So I would say it's pretty <laughs> secure. But during the daytime, pretty much anyone is guaranteed admission unless they look suspicious. Last spring, Dr. Ron Highfield had a past student unexpectedly visit him in his office. The man exhibited dangerous behavior and DPS was called and arrived quickly. really appreciate DPS. I was never so happy to see a uniformed officer in my life. Highfield thinks the man didn't look dangerous, which was why he was allowed on. I do not see anything they could do. I mean, uh, except, you know, maybe do a thorough interview. As for one student, she was receiving texts from an ex threatening to kill her and her mom. She met with DPS three times and was assured he wouldn't be let on campus. Since then, he's visited multiple times. That was really disheartening when I had like meetings and stuff and I was like, it was something I was taking really seriously and then to know that they literally just let him through the gate, like they'd let anybody through the gate, but they said that they had his picture, but they still let him through all the time. Although there are security gates on the left and on the right that deal with the cars entering campus, there's no security here at Alumni Park that stops anyone from just walking up from PCH. Homeless people have been seen hanging out in Payson Library. We have had some, yes. Usually it's uh, off peak season when they know like the students are not here or they sneak in. But even if they slipped past the gates, DPS arrives quickly and no laptops have ever been reported stolen. DPS says it is difficult to answer how effective the security booths are, but hopefully their presence deters individuals from committing crimes.